Hey guys, welcome back to my Talos Principle walkthrough, and we are on the final, the final chamber of the last world, Chamber 7. We have four more puzzles to do, so let's do it. My faith in you was not misplaced. You have learned much, and shown great wisdom in these trials. The end of your journey lies close now. Do not falter, do not fear, and do not give in to temptation. And do not go to the tower. God, there's no time. Just not enough time. Ugh. We're trying to build the future out of old video game code and half-finished research projects. We should have had years, maybe decades. With the kind of money they used to put into building bombs. Ugh. If I stop and think about how crazy this is, I will have a nervous breakdown. So I won't. Yeah, okay. Back to work, Alex. Okay. Prison break. Oh man, this one, uh, there's a lot of ways to, to screw this up for yourself and have to restart the puzzle. So hopefully we'll, we won't run into one of those scenarios. First thing to do is to get the connector. The connector, we can open up this. That will get us a box. With the box, we're gonna head back into the first room and use this to weigh down one buttons. It's gonna be this button. Yeah. Go see. For whatever reason, if you put the box over there, uh, it blocks the laser. But if you put it over here, it doesn't. So now, I'm going to put this right here, grab a connector, go wee all the way over to the other side. Pop that there. That opens that. This gives us our third connector. What we really want to do right here is try to get two connectors into the first room with the, the fans that, you know, shoot up into the air. That is our main goal. We're going to do that. We're going to need a box here. So let's take this box. The box opens up this. That allows us to get this, because this is now extraneous. We already have a source that's feeding into that. This allows us to open this one. Get another connector. And now we have our two connectors that we can use in the first room. Why do we need two connectors in the first room, you ask? I'll tell you. After these messages. Alright. Alright, here we go. So, what we want to do, well, let's, let's just show you what happens. So that will send uh, someone up with uh, when we have one of these fans up here. The reason why we need this is because we can't just activate that thing by putting it, uh, putting a connector on top of a box and trying to hit that. There's a wall there. So once we get it up in the air, though, we can take this away and we can utilize the floating connector. So first thing we need to do is get our other fan back. This. Right there. Right. You go over here. For now, you're gonna go over here, and you are going to be my my tagging friend. We're gonna tag a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not a whole bunch of stuff. Just one thing, really. We just need this one open. Okay. Tag the origin. Put it on top. Let there be liftoff! Now we can take that. We don't need that there anymore either. Let's switch this up. This goes here. There we go. Now that we have a connector in the air, we can go all the way over here. 
connect that to that. Still need one more thing though. We need, we need this. So if we go back over here, remember we still have that box over here. And now that we have a connector in the air, we don't need this one. So let's just take the box. And use the box to weigh down the button. And puzzle solved! Crisscross conundrum advanced. Another crisscross conundrum. So, uh, for those that didn't see the last crisscross conundrum, uh, the conundrum happens to be that in order to hit this thing to open this gate, we have to cut off the path of this blue laser. Therein lies our conundrum. But this time we have a record function. So, the bad part is that this time, this is cut off, so we can't utilize this, this little area over here. We only have this area to work with. So what we're going to have to do is find a way to make this laser go around this corner, hit it right here so that we still have room for this laser to go all the way over there. In order to do that, first thing we need to do is open up this. And yeah, we're gonna have to start recording. All right, so what I wanna do with this recording is take this laser, put it right around here or so. And basically I wanna make it so that I can hit it from over here so that the next one I put will be right here and then I can go in right there. I also want to make sure that I have a blue laser going this whole time and I want to make sure that it will not uh, crisscross with the red laser I'm going to put. So let's put it right here. That should be good. Now we give it about uh, 20 seconds. My, my cue for my other self to start working is when I put down that blue laser. Once I put down that blue laser, I'm going to put a red laser, a red connector, right here, another one, right here, and it's going to go right in there. A uh, minute should be good enough. Plenty of time. And... done. right now but once again my cue for me to start working is when I put down that blue laser all right and let us go to work so we're gonna do that to that we take this go that that right here and <gasps> what just happened oh. don't screw this up for me don't screw this up for me go puzzle solved Carrier Pigeons! This is a comparatively easy challenge, or easy puzzle, so here's what we're going to do. We take this, this button right here controls the fan, so you see, if I have the fan on, that guy is going to get blown forward. Keep that in mind. Now also keep in mind the, pu the puzzle's name is Carrier Pigeon. So, oops, <laughs> the, uh, the clue means we have to use these uh, buzzers as carriers of our boxes. So let's get the boxes. That'll take us from platform to platform. Allow me to get that third box over there. 
idea was to put those little uh those little feet symbol or the, the foot symbol or feet symbol uh in order to make jumping pretty much automatic in this game because that's a pretty good idea all right so we're going to build a tower of three boxes and then use the button to knock it forward to break that that laser and once we do that we'll be able to run through here the fan will be off and we'll have enough time to run through and collect the sigil that is the plan now comes the execution oops i wasn't standing on it all right here we go here we go here we go here we go and we mark it say go puzzle solved Wow, they give you a lot of time. I didn't know you had that much time. <clears throat> what was the last one? Last puzzle? Is that you? There you are. Dead Man Switch. So for Dead Man Switch, we got a lot of connectors and a lot of activators that we're going to have to hit. Got all of them right in this area, so that's fortunate. Um, what we need to do is, you see, the de the titular Dead Man Switch, I guess, refers to this switch right here, which controls this force field. It's pretty much the key to this puzzle. Um, what we don't want to do is use a connector to to weigh down this switch because we need all these connectors to do do what we uh, have to do, basically. Uh, you see over there, we have a box that we can blow down, and it's connected to an activator. You probably can't see it. It's on the other side. So, what we need to do is find a way to use these three connectors to bend the laser around this entire little fort. So, we're going to put that there, connect this, put it right here. That should be fine. Take this one. This, this, and this. Now we're gonna go back, stand on the dead man switch, and that should have. What? Did it not do it? Did it not connect it? It should be blowing that that box down. That's why it's not working, because of this thing. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, well, then, no, it should still work. There we go. Now that we have the box, go back over here. This up so that it hits all these things. There we go. Now, if you think about it, we shouldn't need this anymore, right? Because that's going to be open. That's connecting to that. So we can start using the blue laser. streams. Uh, kind of want to do a little better placement. That should be good. Maybe move this over a little. Make sure I'm able to hit it. I'm going to go back to the main room. Don't need this 
this anymore. And puzzle solved. 49 red blocks. Seven times seven. Time wait one. Oh wait, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right, let's take a look at what this has for us. Arcadi Journal. Team diminishing by the day. Proud of them, nevertheless. Archive now incomprehensibly huge. Still missing thousands of works. Impossible to truly finish. Work already commenced on a sorting program to help catalog the archive of resources in our absence. But like everything else, it has its vo foibles. Talk to Alexandra. Talos going well. Maybe the archive's first user will be terrestrial after all. Estimate about a, estimate about a week, maybe ten days before I'm unable to keep working. A betrayal to leave early? Now your real pointed his sword to the tree of life, which grew in the heart of dead Jerusalem. Behold, the tree grows still, though the city is dead. Within all that is mortal, there is a seed of immortality, for it is an immortal that fashioned it from chaos and void. Being a humble man of little wisdom, I asked, Great Uriel, we are not allowed to eat from the tree of life. How may we then be saved? And Uriel commanded me to stretch out my hand. And he gave me this fiery sword, which burned my hand. And he said, Only by sacrifice can you free the world from the dominion of sin. With a prayer on my lips, I fell upon Uriel's sword, and it pierced my heart. And truly, on my body, the stigmata of the Lord appeared, dripping blood that was not my blood onto the ground. And the seven heads of the dragon that were crowned in black clouds receded. And the light fell upon the earth, and Jerusalem was born again. Thus the angels departed, having de having delivered their message, and I awoke in the fields of our fair land. Blah 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 blah. Invention of Borders. Excerpt. What today's nationalists and neo-segregationists fail to understand, Kwame said, is that the basis of every human culture is, and always has been, synthesis. No civilization is authentic, monolithic, pure. The exact opposite is true. Look at your average Western nation. Its numbers Arabic, its alphabet Latin, its religion, its religion Levantine, its philosophy Greek. Need I continue? And each of these examples can itself be broken down even further. The Romans got their alphabet from the Greeks, who created theirs from stealing from the, from the phon Phoenicians, and so on. Our myths and religions, too, are syncretic, and, are syncretic sharing repeating and adapting a large variety of elements to suit their needs. Even the, even the language of our creation, the DNA itself is impure, defined by a history of amalgam amalgamation, not only between nations, but even between different human species. Tasks, discuss this expert, blah blah blah. Alright, time to go. Your faith has guided you well, my child. You have overcome every trial in this land and gathered all the sigils. <gasps> the gate is open. The gate is open. <gasps> I can finally Come reach. Forward, child. Wait. Eternity Wait. waits. I, do I? The tower is still there. What? Salvation? Tower? Salvation Tower, Salvation Tower. I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna do. This is not gonna be the last video. We're gonna do both options, but first, we're gonna go for Salvation. I have arrived, Elohim. Bring me to heaven. Type eternalize to proceed toward towards eternal life. No, no. no I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You will now 
now be prepared for ascension to eternity. Please stand by. Rejoice, my child, as you leave this world behind. For all that you accomplished shall be passed on to your generations. In this land they shall thrive, and you shall be remembered as the beloved servant of Elohim. And so death shall have no dominion over you. Be well, my child. Be at peace. Alright guys, well that is the Talos Principle. Like I said, uh, I'm going to do another video showing the uh, ascens ascension of the tower. Um, oops, something else happening here? to the beginning. Behold, child. No, I don't want to behold. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Not again. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. We're doing this again? Are you gonna make me do it all over again? All over again? No! No! It's not happening! Alright guys, uh, we'll, we'll be back with another, uh, tower video. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.